Let's just take a glance at the new one. Who's thinking about taking this new one? The Essential Academic Skills Subtest 1, reading 001. Who's thinking about this one? And just type in skills. We'll call this skills. Who's taking the skills test? Skills, skills, skills. No, give me, so if you're not taking skills, be like, not yet. No, didn't know about it. So let me just point out some things to you. First, we're just gonna focus on the reading subtest. How many multiple choice questions does it have? 45. Uh, how much time do you have? How much time do you have? Look at it closely. How much time do they give you for the reading test? One hour, right? 45 questions, one hour. Um, same thing with the breaks. So that's the same. That doesn't change. And the passing score is 220. Does everyone see that? Passing score is 220. So let's just think about that. Let's 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 look at let's compare these now. Let's look at these two exams. The MTEL01 communication literacy exam. This is the one that's been going on for the last, I think, eight years, eight or nine years. And then this exam right here, the new essential skills uh, test, essential academic skills test, which is supposed to be an alternative, an alternative test. Just came out last week. Okay. Most of you don't even know about it. Um, this one has 42 questions. This one has 45. This one has anywhere from three to four hours to test. This one gives you an hour to test. So team, uh, the communication literacy we test has six questions, right? So that's how we got 42 divided by six questions gets you seven passages. Yes? Does everyone see how I did the math there? Give me a thumbs up. Now the, the essential academic skills test um, doesn't have six questions, has five questions. So if we did the same math, 45 questions, and there are only five questions, because that's what they have, then that means um, how many passages are there? Nine or something. Does everyone got how I got the nine? I don't know for sure, because I haven't seen how they divided up those 45 questions, but I'm but based on what I've read about it, uh, seeing five different questions, assuming that every passage has five separate questions, I'm gonna make the assumption then that that would mean that there are nine passages. Yes? 45 divided by five would get you nine. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, the Communication and Literacy MTEL-01 exam uh, would give you about 34 minutes if you were, had the full four hours and if you had only three hours, how much time would you have? 25 minutes per passage, right? So if you had four hours, you have 34 minutes per passage. If you have um, three hours, you have 25 minutes. Whereas this one here, the new one, the Essential Academic Skills Exam, is uh, seven, six to seven minutes per passage. Team, do you got that? If you break it down by time per question. This one's got five to seven minutes per question. This one's got 80 seconds per question. Now I'm, I'm just basing this on, I, I got that number by just doing this math, right? I was like this, you got <clears throat> four, uh, uh, four hours, 240 hours, 240 minutes divided by 42 questions. That's how I got this number. Got it? So if we do the same math here, you have, um, you have one hour divided by um, 45 questions. You're gonna get something around uh, one minute and a quarter per question or one minute and a third per question. And that's how I got around 80 seconds. Okay, before we go to the passing grade, does everyone see the difference? I'm looking at this new version here and um, we'll do one case study from it. 
Uh, and I would encourage you to go to that test site and read about it because there's actually a third one coming out too. And right now, just looking at the numbers here, I question it a little bit. Hmm. You know what I mean? I just, um, I'm just question. I just got some questions here because I don't think it's any easier. But, but based on what I'm seeing right now, there's a big kind of concern here that, you know, four hours versus one hour. I take the four hours or three hours any day. Um, you know, uh, 30 to 25 to 30 minutes per passage for six to seven minutes per passage. I'm going to take more time any day of the week. Okay. Hi team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. This spring Go Academy is turning all the workshops into webinars. These classes are going to be covering the same material as a regular workshop. We're going to do them in seven hours and they're held on Saturdays and Sundays in the morning. I encourage you to check out a webinar. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful.